I was wondering why he didn't move to an alternative video platform like Rumble. He wouldn't face the censorship, and with a following as big as his, it would be it would do a lot of boost Rumble's popularity. Uh, you know what? They gave him a hundred million dollars, and they promised him he would have complete control. Right? For that, I'd go to Rumble. Right? If I had complete control. Now, in the contract, I don't know what the deal was, right? I haven't read the contract. But in the contract, if it said they give all editorial control over me, right, to me as a podcaster, then, yeah, I'll take the $100 million. Thank you very much. Sign that contract. And when they break the contract, I can say you broke the contract. And then with $100 million in my pocket and a bigger following, move on to a free speech platform. So it's a game you have to play. It's got to be strategic right use their use their uh the enemy's uh weakness against them right the enemy's weakness is they want to consolidate information they want to get the numbers the data the viewers the eyes on their platforms right and they're willing to give up a fair bit for that privilege right but you make sure if you're doing that in your contract stipulates that if they break their terms of service right right you can walk away just the same way they're using their terms of service against humanity with censorship right i don't know what joe rogan's game game is what he strategized and stuff like this uh but my recommendation to him is they broke their agreement go to a free speech platform and see what you get man man what a flood that will be delicious 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 just to smack down right at the same time buy your puts on spotify right so if i was doing that if i was joe rogan literally seriously this is exactly what i would do if i was joe rogan right i talk to my lawyers make sure that they can't screw me over by saying i'm walking right while you're doing that as soon as you get the go ahead from your lawyers you buy Fucking pump it buy a million dollars worth of puts on spotify right buy a million puts on spotify distribute it over uh short term medium term and long term right just pound it boop, 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 boop. right and then the next day announce and yeah you, if you're gonna buy a million dollars worth of puts on spotify you're gonna have to distribute it over like a two week month period right get in slowly get your position in right once you got your full position in come out and announce spotify broke their contract you're walking you're going to rumble at the same time i don't think i oh, actually rumble has calls as well at the same time you buy a million dollars worth of calls on rumble right million puts on spotify million dollars worth of calls on rumble do this over a, a month period do it slowly and this is by the way what they do right big money does this appreciate it right and i don't think it can be considered uh uh, insider trading because you're making decision based on your personal finances but who am i to talk about legality right because you can do this under the table right as soon as you've got your position in come out and announce it you'll see spotify stock collapse sell your puts you'll see cfvi disclaimer family has has position in cfvi you'll see cfvi most likely double at least in price your million dollars of puts on spotify would probably return if you did it right right if you did it right probably yield at least 10 million your calls on cfvi would probably yield at least another 10 million so that's a 20 million dollar play plus you tell the censors to go f themselves you go to a free speech platform humanity cheers win 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 right that's my advice to joe rogan 